Can you explain five essential components of a good branding strategy that can help leaders create a successful brand? Good question. I believe that um, it all begins with organizational leadership. That's where everything starts and ends. There are, of course, individual components of the brand, um, but let's, let's say that the very first one is leadership, that I need strong leadership to hold the brand together. Secondly, I need courage for, and this may not be the kind of components that you would imagine, but without courage, there's not going to be a brand that has any uh, impact at all on the marketplace because the brand should make you a little bit weak at the knees uh, in order to, uh, to have an impact on the market. Uh, third is research. Uh, you really need to know the facts. One of the things about our particular clients is they're very, in fact, really all of them, they're very left brain individuals. They want to know the value that they're getting from this. And they have opinions and opinions can easily become fact in their mind. And so our goal is to provide the facts in return to them about their firm, about their organization, about the marketplace, et cetera, so that they'll understand that. Creativity is key. There's no point in creating a brand with correct strategy and data, all the data in the world, if it's not creative and going to have, once again, an impact on folks. And then finally, this may be ultimately the most important thing is stay the course. Once a brand has been developed and created, it's too easy to abandon it with the next change in leadership, with the next marketing director, with the next managing partner or CEO. Uh, it's important to, to keep own, own the brand and cleave to what, the, what we've decided and agreed to is the brand and brand strategy.